Hey folks, I'm here, thought I'd update you. However, I'm away from the office and the computer at the moment, so we're gonna have to make do with a mobile phone update, which is not ideal. Uh, as the charts do look slightly different, but I actually quite like it, personally. So I'll, I'll go through the, the whole um, caboodle, actually, from top to bottom, because a lot has, um, has happened over the last few days. Let's start off with the dollar, though, because uh, that's gonna influence quite a lot. So, go on to the daily chart. So the dollar, has finally started to move up. So remember, for, for, for many months now, I've been expecting a move way up here, to, uh, at least to the sort of, or where this line, yeah, this line is probably 12,500 level. Uh, and it's been dicking about for too long, but it's not a clear move because it's still within the, uh, a whole bunch of chop. So, I mean, technically speaking, there is maybe a double top here, uh, sorry, a double bottom that's forming and it's now around the bum line, but, not decisive enough. So let's just have that in the back of our heads for now. So here's Aussie Looney. Aussie Looney is um, looking quite bearish. So there is, obviously it's going to take forever to draw lines, but I'll give it a go. So trend line, line, here we go. Something like this. So here we have a, a level of uh, resistance, which looks like it's um, it has reacted off it. And I, what I'd like to do, I'm going to put a whole bunch of little pot shots in like I normally do. Um, so with this, I'm only going to risk bugger all money. So I'm at just £10 a point on this one. And it's, in terms of pips, it's actually going to be a £260, sorry, a £260 um, play So on this Aussie loony. But I've already, actually, sorry. So that's the wrong one. Sorry, I've got two trades here on at the moment. So 27, 9427 is where I meant for my, oh no, a little bit higher, call it 33. So it's 460, uh, no, sorry. This is why it's a bit hit and miss on the mobile. There we go, I just wanted to clear that wick basically. Um, so that's that one. And then I've got this one here, 20 pound a pip. And what was it, 933? No, nope. what was it? Nine three, nine three four. One second, I just want to make sure it's a nine four three six. Sorry, nine four three. Something like that. Yeah. So I'm not too fussed about that risk there. Um, so that's Aussie Looney, Aussie Swissy. Again, it's a lot of the same pictures happening over here. I'm already short on that Aussie. I don't want to overcook my Aussies. Yeah, this one's too far down. This isn't hitting any resistance at the moment. Aussie key, uh, okay, so this I cannot resist. So every single time I see a low test, uh, sorry, a high test, especially in the falling market, I have to jump on it. Um, I've made most of my money doing it uh, like that. So look at jump, I just want to jump down onto the, um, okay, we're on a bit of a support here on the lower time frame charts. So we're well, actually actually just uh, bouncing on that 10600 level. Can I? Yeah, I may just try and put an entry cell right on that eight EMA. So 10609 actually. So 106 uh, cell 10609. So one second, I'll just yeah. I know it may look like I'm being pretty haphazard with uh, my position sizes and stuff, but I'm taking a fair, I know what I'm doing, I'm, I'm taking this, some sh shortcuts which I'm, I'm aware of, um, just want to double check that Aussie one. Okay, so that, I actually only wanted it above the sort of 10633, so 10633, there we go. Just in case, just to try and get a little pull back. Mind you, that is actually, if we draw another trend line on the four hour chart, sorry, it's pretty much in line with that. So, yeah, sorry, I might as well just put it above the 5 5 level, 500 level, just to be a bit, a bit safer. That's Aussie Kiwi, so uh, Aussie Dollar. Mm, yeah, I'm fine for that for the moment. I'll come on to the equities in a bit. In a bit. Looney Swissy is just a bit choppy. Mind you, it's ready for a short here. We've got um, on the daily chart, if we look at this, 
Uh, drawing trend lines isn't that hard here, actually. I'm getting used to it. Something like that. And we've got a pullback. So it broke out. It's pulling back. Um, again, I want to put a tentative short in here. So with a uh, 6, 9, 10. So I'm going to sell at market. 6, 9, 10. Call it 11. There we go. So that's the Swissy. Stop by that double O. Just have a little, little pop. See what happens. Um, very low risk uh, with with a lot of these pot shots. So typically, like the 500 pound risk on a 175k account, I'm only going in at like 0.2. I'm, I'm sort of averaging about 0.25, 0.3%. Max risk on some of these. So, in terms of margin, I've still got sort of 31% left to play with because uh, I've already got a few chunky trades on at the moment. If you look at like the FTSE and oil, I've got a fair bit. So, that's that. Looney Yen, let's have a look. No, this is looking bullish, if anything. That's due for a pullback. However, look at this bad boy. This is an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Look at that. So the, the neckline is going to be something like that. Or it could be one of the two. Obviously, it's very subjective and everyone's looking at this differently. But it's resting on the 78.50 level. So current price. Oh, I can't draw a straight line, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So somewhere around here is the neckline. Um, so yeah, head and shoulders. We should see... I would like to see a bit of a pullback, but perhaps maybe even to 78, 75 maybe, and then start shorting it. Uh, because if that does fall, we're going to be looking around the 76 level. So in this case, actually, this could just start moving away. 78, 75. Yeah, 78, 75. Let's do that. So 78, 74, I'll get in. Um, and then have that there and just for, I'm just going to put some random things in for the moment and then I can just assess the price but I want to look at the chart first oh mother bugger I've just done a buy instead of a sell I'm going to have to delete the whole order now see me rushing is not good 78.74 let's try again let's try and find it was it Lillian? I can't know was it Truff Yen, Swissy Yen? No, it was the one beforehand. Okay, Looney Yen, there we go. So that was it. So entry, we're trying to set it. 10 pound pip, 78.74. I'll just put random stops in for the moment and then I will reassess. Oops, I don't want to. Okay, so the limit, what I'll have down here is at 77, so just in front of 77, so let's just put that uh, 77.11, just in case it reverses before it hits that 77 level, so that's that. Um, and then the stop, yeah, I'm happy with where it is um, above that 79 level. Cool, so that's that. Now let's look at the euros. Euros I don't really want to touch at the moment. However, this is looking... So we've been looking at this bottoming pattern for a while now. And it's finally broken out. It's pulled back to kiss it off. Um, I want to go long. I really do. But it's a bit choppy. There's no real clear long signs. It's just turned into a bit of a mess. It only looks good when you look at... Uh, I mean, there's a little double bottom there. If you, when you sort of zoom out and you go, Ah, yeah, here we go. We've got a nice double bottom. Um, but then a bit of a high test on the weekly. So yeah, it's too much, too iffy. I'm just going to continue. So Euro Looney now. Back to the daily chart. Mess. Yeah, I've already looked at these today. I wasn't impressed. Just a mess. I mean, here we've had that topping pattern, which has been very messy. If anything, I do want to short this. Um, because we have had a topping pattern. There is, oh, you can't, <laughs> I'm waving my thumbs around, but obviously you can't see my thumbs. So, topping pattern, that's done that. And we've got another trend line which is happening here. Come on. 
Uh, it'll be great to one day have a computer or a phone that moves faster than my fingers. Um, and there we go. So we've busted through it, it's pulled back, and it's now buggering off. And I think this is just pulling back to the ATMA. And now it's on the way down. So actually, I can actually get in this for relatively little risk. So that is a 10. I'm going to put roughly a 25 pip stop on that one. So if we now look at Euro Swissy, I'm nicely above that double O in case it does really try and give it. Actually, I can probably put, yeah. So I could probably squeeze it a bit lower, but it doesn't really help. Uh, I mean, a, a bugger all risk here. So, so that's that. Uh, what else is happening? Euros. Yeah, I just don't want to touch the euros at the moment. It's just a mess. Right. There's another bottoming pattern, but I'd like this to pull back a bit further. Mind you, I missed it. It did pull back down here. That is what I was looking for, but I was in bed and I missed it. Um, this was a few a fair few days ago and no no play for that one hmm. a bit of a squeeze happening on the weekly chart but obviously I'm not looking for long-term trades at the moment I'm literally just going in and out very quickly cut and run so to speak yeah pound is a bag of balls and I do not like playing with balls. So, double top here. Yeah, this is nice. So here we've got massive falling. Then we had a topping pattern, which is this double top. It bust through, pulled back. Looks like it's fanning around a bit, but we should see further falling, at least to the 33.50 level. Um, oh, and a high test on the four hour. It hasn't completed yet, but I don't care. So, 34. Uh, I can't remember my maths. My brain is not working at the moment today. So that's seven. Oops. Here we go. Pound, yen. I'm going to have a stop 36.11. Just nice and over that. Um, I'm happy to take a little bit more risk because this is actually a nicer setup. I love high tests in falling markets. And then in terms of playing out to the downside, at least 33.61. 3361. Here we go. Down here. Nice. Pound yen. That's doing its thing. Doing. Doing. Pound kiwi should be going up, but. Mm, choppy. No. Let's look. Cable. Not interested. Um, kiwis. Now let's look at the kiwis. Hmm, nothing slapping me in the face, wanting to... No, Kiwi's is a bit of a mess. No playing on that one. Chop, chop, chop. And I'm not in this for chop. I'm looking for trending markets. Oh. Trending, breakouts and bounces. That's, that's where I make my money. No, Kiwi is just a, again, another bag of balls. So now moving on to the dollars. The dollar is just going to be... Uh, we've already looked at the dollar index, and so it's going to be the same sort of story. With this one, it's actually looking more like a bounce to the south. Um, I know we have, like, this looks like a massive double bottom, but the thing that I've been looking at on dollar loony is this. So we've actually got a massive trend line doing something like that. It's very rough, mind you. Like any trend line, it's always a massive buffer. People draw these very precise lines, but really it's not precise. Um, they're massive they're areas of resistance and support they're not key lines so with this one i actually want to take a little tentative short um very yeah so actually i'm only sorry it's about a 65 oopsie i think it was 65 pip, and then i'll take the limit as well and i'll adjust it in a second so i'm only doing it this way because my short-term memory is pants so here we go. Where's my oh, my lines have disappeared? However, it's 32. I'm not going to be greedy. The R multiple in this one isn't that good. Pretty stinking average, to be fair. Uh, 34, 11. There we go. It's basically one for one. In fact, I need to make it a bit higher. 
So, uh, 34, I would say 35. Yeah, so it's basically one for one, probably slightly less than one for one. However, it has a higher than 50% prob probability of hitting target. So I'm ready to roll with that. Um, dollar Swissy will do, will be looking exactly as the dollar index. So yeah, not much to see there. Dollar Chinese Yuan is continuing to fall. So this, I need to get back in on this. Sorry. Only a short. So this one is a lot less. I think just put 200 for now and then I can adjust it. Hmm. It's only letting me do a smaller position. Okay, that'll do big, that'll do. It does, it's a highly geared pair. So with this one, I actually want to move my stop a bit higher. It needs to be more like about 74, 75-ish. 6.74.25, there we go. Now, remember, if you're still watching this um, and you're new, please don't take habits or tips off how I'm operating right now. This, the, the best analogy I can think of is, imagine I'm a, a, a driving instructor. So normally I would be teaching you mirror signal maneuver, both hands at 10 to two and all that sort of stuff. Um, but right now I'm in a drifting race or I'm in a rally car going down the rally thing. So a lot of the bits and pieces I teach and I highly recommend you follow, you should definitely do. But right now I'm just mainly for efficiency. I guess this is me doing handbrake turns around corners and stuff. So just ignore what I'm doing. But I just thought you'd want to have a little look, see what I see in the markets. So oil, okay, now let's move. So oil has started to fall nicely. So we're starting to get that break. Um, and we should see, I mean, I'm, I'm banking on $20. And at some point we should start having a waterfall. This, yeah, I mean, we should have a bit of a pullback and then just, it should just shit its pants and, and flop down. Um, all of my trades, you see my oil, they're on oil spot down here. So it's what, 150 pound a pip going south. Um, so yeah, we're going to leave them for the moment. I don't need to place any more oil, but so that's that. Now let's finally get, oh yeah, let's look at gold as well whilst we're down here in the X's. Nothing for the moment. I mean, if we do see dollar strength, we're going to see further falling in the, in the gold. So I'm actually bearish on gold at the moment. And we should at the very least see 1850 again. Um, so we're having this little pull back. Um, I do want to put a tentative short in place. Yeah, let's do that. Not much because it, it runs really fast gold. So let's just put. Um, so with this one, the stop. If we look at this trend line, I want to put it above the trend line for sure. That's going to be something like that. Twenty. One two nine thirty one, I guess. So nineteen nineteen thirty nine. Is that no eleven grand? That can't be right. One sec. It is. Sorry, yeah. I'm expecting a far, much further falling, but uh, sorry, I'm just gonna refine that a bit. I've just really just clumped it there. Twelve. Sorry, nineteen twelve. There we go. 12 and a bit more that's better so that's that now let's look at stocks well let's look at the mothership first well, in fact let's look at all of them so the australian stock market i i was i was in that um i'm out of it it moves so slowly for my liking so i'm not let's not bother with that it's just so slow chinese stock market is the only indice on the index on the planet it isn't really looking much like the others um it's yeah, if anything, I think this is starting to form a bit of a Batman pattern. And what a Batman pattern is, is this. So we should just draw this trend line again. Come on, fat thumb. It's this. It's basically like that. So that's what it's, it should form. Um, but I'm not going to be placing that trade because 
at the same time as saying that this could be a Batman, I'm also acutely or chronically aware that there is this trend line which it ha it needs to get back, back the get back down to. So I, I do see further falling. Um, I see it at least going down to the fifteen hundred level, but. I mean, this takes far too much margin for my liking. Um, so I'm not, I've got other things I'm trading, so I don't really need to be in it. The Spanish stock market, a couple of low tests here on the daily. So it's, it's threatening to have a bit of a, a move back up north, but it, it's been doing that for a while. And the FTSE is like, looking like that as well. French CAC, again, looking like a bounce is coming north, uh, at least back to the trend line. So if anything, all the stocks look very overdone at the moment. We should see move back up, I mean, at least the 8 EMA. But do I want to pull the trigger? I mean, look at this. Look at that low test. So this is the, the, the internal battle I'm having. Daily chart, looking like a low test, needs to pump up to, you know, sort of 11,900, 12,000-ish. This is on the German DAX. And the four-hour chart, again, same sort of picture. And we've got a compression here. So... Oh, it looks like a bearish rectangle, if anything, if you ignore that wick. Um, but it's, I don't want to pull the trigger. I'm, it's not clean. It's not clean. I only take trades where it slaps me in the face. Right now. It's more it's like tickling me. I don't want to take it. Here's a big old double top forming. Massive double top. That's the NASDAQ. Ah, oh, yeah. So... I do really want to get short on the Nasdaq. I have been shorting it. I think it has got further to go, but I think for the meantime, if the if the S and P five hundred and everything else is signalling north, like a little mind you, the S and P is looking a little bit bearish. Hmm. Let's have a look at the daddy ship. Okay, Daddy Ship's already formed that double top. It's actually looking... Sorry. Yeah. Um, sorry. Insufficient margin. No shit. There we go. Um, that was my last trade. Yeah, I, sorry. I've been meaning to go short on the, the, the down for about... Well, before I made this video. But, yeah. So, and then the footsie. It's been doing nothing all day, pretty much. I've been watching this all day, and it's yeah, it looks like things are starting to fall back down. So it's been a good day. It's been a twenty grand day today, um, so far. Let's if we just organise this. So the thing that I wanted to get rid of is this. So I have gone long on the DAX. I think I'm just going to cancel that now. Oh no. One second, let's, let's. Yeah, I think it's time to get out of that one. I just don't feel comfy in that one. So that's a little, tiny little loss. I'm shorting the footsie still. Um, so that's still playing out. Where are the other ones? Sorry. Here, this is my open position. So I have any buys. I'm shorting everything at the moment, pretty much. Yeah, there's not many things I'm long on. Um, but yeah, my oil trade is still going down. So yeah, I think that's it. Sorry for the, it's not the best market update. I know a mobile phone update isn't ideal, but it will do, pig. It will do. And I will see you all soon. Uh, yeah, see you on Monday, students. Have a good, good one. Bye-bye.